The market is crazy. XRP going a hundred percent up. You wanna know what's going on with the crypto world? Yes, then smash that like button because it's time for crypto news fun on the right crypto a tope today more than ever. This is XRP. We went up a hundred percent, which is awesome. And why? Well, we have a judge out there that says that Ripple XRP is not a security. This happened in New York and the judge is called Annalisa Torres, our news hero. She says XRP is not a security. And so the market exploded, especially XRP breaking all the resistances, etc., etc., and going almost to one dollar. We love that idea. We want Ripple XRP to go to forty thousand dollars to forty dollars, like we said in this video in 2018. Maybe this is still a possibility. Well, I leave you the link in the description to that video in order for you to watch it. But also, we have two songs that you can watch if you type XRP in our search toolbox. Or, any case, if you go to web uh, web of fun on the right, fun on the right .com in the humor section, and I will sing this for you. <laughs> Is it a security or not? This is the end of Ripple or a huge opportunity? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no vote. Not even Satoshi Nakamoto knows about it. Etc. Etc. With this show. And the story. We'll see about it. We'll tell you everything here in front of the right. So smash that like button. Use the link in the description. Everything free, but you help us with that action. Consider that in just a matter of hours, $18 billion came into XRP. Crazy stuff. It's party time, according to uh, Ripple CEO. Of course, they are very happy and happy to know that in a lot of exchanges, they are having back XRP like Kraken, like Bitstamp, like Binance or like Coinbase telling us it's a win for Ripple. It's a win for the industry. It's a win for the builders. It's a win for clear rule book. It's a win for updating the system. Oh, and XRP now open for trading. So back in the most important exchanges out there. What was going on here? You can see a representation. Gary Gensler and the SEC trying to stop our dreams in the altcoins. Everybody calling for a referee. The referee is called the SEC, but you see their XRP and the trial finally winning this fight. We want you to be there, Gary Gensler. In the floor, we have a pattern in the chart for XRP, like Davis telling us, and it's the middle finger, the little bird. And that's so that XRP is becoming the fourth most important crypto in the industry, surpassing BNB coin right now. Number four, very important day, 66% right now, but also Cardano is 23%, Solana 33%. Polygon will tell you about that 18% and Litecoin is not in the 10 anymore. It's number 12 with the halving coming. In the bubbles, you can see XRP and of course, Stellar Lumens. Those two projects always uh, together and now going up, of course, because then XLM is not a security, of course. In the market, you see dark green for XRP, everything in the green. Also Ethereum, also Cardano, also Solana, also Avax, etc., etc. And Mr. Mustache telling us here that we might be at the beginning of the alt season and XRP is leading that. This is going to be the biggest alt season since 2017. Hopefully so. You have to consider that we need more money in the industry. We want to go to 3 trillion where we were once 
in a while. And you can see that just in one day, a lot of money came into this industry, but not enough. We want much more coming in. You can see that what happened is that Bitcoin dominance dropped a lot. So this is not mostly like euros, fiat currencies, dollars coming into the market, but Bitcoin being exchanged into altcoins to take advantage of the situation. And also other important news for Polygon, they want to transfer uh, Matic to token Pol because of a very important upgrade so that it has multi-chain validation across L2 ecosystem, etc, etc. We'll see about that. Don't worry if this comes through, you have five months to change your tokens. So good things for all the crypto coins today. Also for the meme coins, you can see those are going up. Follow them on DocsTools, DocsTools.io and you have their Pepe, the chart we, fo we follow every day with DocsTools.io and you can see there that we broke the line and now we will find support there. So probably good news for Pepe and the meme coin ecosphere. What about Ethereum? We broke the $2,000 line, which is awesome. And Lark Dave is telling us, well, if XRP is not a security, then there is zero fucking chance that Ethereum will be deemed as such. Ethereum, not a security, not BNB, not ADA, no Sol, no Matic, no Atom, no Phil, no ICP, and so on, in opinion of Chris Sky, And you can see them here. Those are some of the cryptocurrencies that might not be a security. You see their library. Uh, I would love this to go higher, just 1% half today. And you can see there, well, some crazy coins like Dragon Chain, for example, or even Bitconnect. So, well, we'll see uh, at the end of the day what are a security and what is not. Here, Emperor saying, realize that uh, SEC has no jurisdiction. This is the most bullish macro event in the last two years, uh, to put it calmly. And you can uh, read there, frankly, there's no agenda to this meeting. So let's just discuss how we can further destroy crypto. They are trying, but they can't. And Cameron Winkenflor telling us that the sale of XRP on exchanges is not a security, which means the sales of all cryptos on exchanges are no securities. And the SEC and Gary Gessler has no jurisdiction over them. This is a watershed moment that really gets the SEC to tradify and makes it a dinosaur regulator. Bye bye, Miss Gary Gensler. Bye. What about Bitcoin? We went higher than $31,000. Interestingly enough, we were close to $32,000, but now going down. Remember, one day we're happy. The next day we are sad. Any case, we broke a little bit the 31,400 that we need in order to consider the cap and handle pattern that will bring us to $52,000. It's okay that we are far from $30,000 right now. So the skyrocket is becoming bigger. It's good that dollar keeps on going down, but it's not good enough for us. Crypto is not going as high as I expected it to go. In any case, Crypto Proof here telling us that for dollar, we are in a similar situation as we were in this case and this other one in 2016 and 2020. So we have still room for dollar to go lower. That's good for stock market and for crypto market. Here you can see that relation be between Bitcoin and dollar. And you can see that as dollar goes down, Bitcoin will go higher. Still an opportunity there for Bitcoin. As we told you in last videos, dollar going down, opportunity for Bitcoin. We draw those lines. We wanted it to break this yellow one and it broke it. So that's a very good thing. And also remember that we consider the Fed decision on the 26th of July to see what will happen with dollar if we go to $35,000 or we don't. Do not miss out those videos. Also, we told you about the Bollinger Bands and how we were going to explode. If we did, we did in a positive way. If we did the same the last time did, 
we have 11% up. That would bring us to 33,500%. Remember, I'm not an expert. This is not financial advice. I have no idea whatsoever what's going to happen. But Crypto Proof telling us about another signal that confirms the bull run for Bitcoin is the EMA. And you can see that we are having a cross right now that we had in 2019 and also in 2015. The RSI was the same at those points. So many similarities between past situations where we had crazy bull markets ahead of us. So hopefully it's the same again following the 2016 pre-halving price action for Bitcoin another leg up from here before halving is possible. You can compare the accumulation phase here and here and here with the one we are having right now. And you can see that we still had room for a leg up. So maybe we will have it before the halving, hopefully so. Telling you about Fibonacci. Well, Kevin Svensson telling us that he believes that we are following this path that will bring Bitcoin to thirty-seven thousand dollars soon enough and also you have to consider that the previous bull market both peak 153 weeks after finding a bottom so we bottom uh, uh, 33 weeks ago if the pattern repeats we have 120 weeks left till the next cycle high so that would mean uh 27 october 2025 will be the moment where we pick with Bitcoin new all-time high. Are you bullish or are you bearish with all this news? You can see the moment we are right now with this bottom, with this top, as we had it here. So maybe we still need all this leg up and we are all going to become millionaires. Who knows? Any case, institutions coming in. Now Europe's first Bitcoin ETF is set to launch after 12 month delay because of FTX, etc., etc. Now they are moving and they are uh, putting pressure on United States because they are going to be the only ones in the end without those ETFs. And what about if I tell you that in El Salvador you can buy in the machines your McDonald's with Bitcoin? You see there the logo and it's as simple as clicking there it's no matter a credit card or Bitcoin payment. Then you have Lightning Network, of course. And in a matter of seconds, you have there your receipt and your uh, poison food, <laughs> in my opinion. Just joking or maybe not. In any case, you can consider that most of billionaires and most important people out there BlackRock, Fidelity, etc. They are all talking about Bitcoin in a good way. So we are greedy. We are in the 60 in the market, even though we still fear the SEC. Now, after Celsius CEO Alex Manchiski, uh, too little, too late, of course, he's pleading not guilty to fraud. Cameron Wilkenflor telling us that SEC is just a joke now too late too little uh with celsius and you can see that they are going to lose probably uh the case with xrp but some final thoughts here uh so embarrassing for the sec that they are seeing uh good things for them in the judge analysa uh about xrp so consider that even though we have a very important win for xrp today well, uh, this uh, trial is going to last years. They can go to different uh, further uh, trials. So uh, the final answer is going to take a little while. As Crypto T is telling us here, we are always uh, from one side to the other. It's over, we're back, it's over, we're back. It's fucking over, we're fucking back. It's so fucking over, we are so fucking back. It's never even begun, we never left. Did you left? you still there? Well, congratulations on that. Remember how narratives change. Here you can see how vaccines narrative change from 100% effectiveness to very little. Let's have a look at the way that the reporting on the efficacy of vaccines has changed in the last two years. Surprising stuff. 100% good, that's good. If something's 100% effective, take it. 
that's 99%. If it asks just 1%, then it's 100. <laughs> 98, no, so it's still nearly, no, no, it's nearly 100%, nearly. 89%, still very high. We're pretty sure that is effective. It's roughly three quarters effective. It's over 50% effective. <laughs> Take two of them, you're at 100. <laughs> it is nearly one third effective. You might need a booster. Yeah, well, ugh. listen, these vaccines, talk to your doctor. You found that. Oh. <laughs> Crazy stuff. So maybe with Bitcoin, this will be the same. At the beginning, this was all for thieves and for bad stuff, money laundering, etc., etc. They will change narrative just the same. And some important people like Bloomberg ETF analyst Erkin Balchunas telling us that the approval of the ETF in United States, the spot one, would bring $30 trillion worth of capital into the Bitcoin market. That would be crazy, but very interesting. A lesson here, this is Apple stock and Apple money uh, in the market cap. One trillion, it's overvalued. Two trillion, it's overvalued. 2.5 trillion, overvalued. Three trillion, overvalued. This is going to happen just the same with the crypto world. And remember these pictures, everybody wants to buy in 1,000, not in 200. Everybody wants to buy in 20,000, not in 3,000. Everybody will want to buy again in 69,000 and not in 15,000. So it's always the same. And the advice there is just to stay humble, stack sats every week, self-custody, ignore price, don't sell and live your life. DeFi ecosystem is happy going to $50 billion and we need to cool down a little bit like these minor machines in liquid so they are fresh during this summertime. Also about technology, good to know that India is trying on Friday to reach the moon for the second time. This is the objective of the Chamandran 3 mission. So even India is going to the moon. Did you know about this tree is red, but the market now is green. Any case, we save this for further shows where everything is going down. Lovely tree. What about the stupid stuff today? How these guys fail with the balloon? And how awesome is if we watch this at slow motion, it becomes a hat. Very, very, very AI stylish and bad for the guy that hurt its neck a little bit, but bubbly and really funny to watch. Crazy stuff, try yourself and send me the video. Did you know that turtles uh, start all those eggs? You can see here in space speed motion how many turtles can be out there not many of them will make it but it's crazy to see the amount of possibilities this turtle is bringing into the world there you go and this is just one turtle one of them what about octopus you can see how they are born with big eyes different sizes and uh, almost invisible to our eye. Lovely if we are in the future an octopus of Bitcoin or even a crab or maybe a shrimp. Which animal are you? Maybe you are a cat or a horse like this one, this cat that believes it's a horse because it's always surrendered with horses. So surrender yourself with something worth imitation and here you can see this cat with the bigger eyes you're seeing in your life and why is that due to the market conditions i can't believe what just happened with xrp believe it or not it's happening now we leave but i leave you today with the song about xrp remember to smash that like button and you'll have more crypto news fun on the ride here so just watch for that health money love part in peace and the best is yet to come crypto a tope to the moon <laughs>
el caso Continúa el culebrón Es Ripple XRP Una security o oh no Es el fin de Ripple O oh, una oferta increíble Yo no sé, yo no voto No lo sabe ni Satoshi Nakamoto Es el fin de Ripple Crazy style. Thank you, everybody, for being there. Adiós.